Hello students, in present video, I'm going to explain about fifth problem from bank reconciliation statement topic. I'm taking this problem from Pankaj Publications book. See the question. Prepare bank reconciliation statement from the following on 31st January 2013. Bank balance as per cash book 16,500. So bank balance. Bank balance is of two types now. Favorable bank balance, overdraft bank balance. There is no proper information here. So in the absence of proper information, our assumption is this is favorable bank balance. So with this, we have to start the problem. Heading bank reconciliation statement of owner's name or firm name is not given. No? Therefore dash as on 31st January 2013. On this day, we are preparing this BRS. Format is particulars, inner amount column, outer amount column. So favorable bank balance as per cash book. With this, we have to start the problem. Amount 16,500 in outer column. Remaining points are reasons for disagreement. So some reasons we have to add to this 16,500 amount. Some reasons we have to subtract. See the second one. Checks amounting to 4,000 rupees were issued on 28th January, means before BRS preparation date out of which checks amounting to 2400 were presented for payment in february 2013 february 2013 means after brs preparation date in working notes we have to analyze in this manner so firm prepares cash book bank prepares passbook so bank related transactions firm records in cash book and bank records in passbook in cash book if any amount is debited same amount will be created in passbook. In cash book, if any amount is created, same thing will be debited in passbook. And because of a bank transaction, if a firm's bank balance is increasing, in cash book debit side it appears and in passbook credit side. If firm's bank balance is decreasing, in cash book credit side, in passbook debit side they record. So first what happened? Checks amounting to 4000 were issued on 28th January. So firm has to pay 4000 rupees to suppliers. So instead of paying in cash, firm issued check to them. So firm assumes that that supplier went to bank, they presented the check, they took the money, bank balance decreased. So with the firm cash book is then no? decrease means in cash book we said credit side. So credit side they recorded 4000 rupees. See the continuation out of which Checks amounting to 2400 were presented for payment in February 13. So in this two 4000 worth of checks, 2400 worth of check is not presented before 31st January. So we are preparing BRS on 31st January now. So till that date what happened that only we should consider. So till that date what happened 4000 minus 2400. 1600 check only supplier presented in the bank so this is a 2400 check is presented by the supplier after this 31st january in february month so difference is in cash book 4000 is decreased but in passbook 1600 only decreased supplier presented 1600 check only now therefore bank people paid 1600 only from our account till 31st january so as per bank records, only 1600 is decreased. So there is a difference. Now in question, he is giving favorable bank balance as per cash book. No? Therefore rule is we should adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, 1600 only decreased. But in cash book, we decreased 4000. So how much extra we decreased in cash book? 4000 minus 1600, 2400 extra we decreased. Now that a 2400 if we increase in cash book, then this 2400 and in 4000, 2400, both will get cancelled. In 4000, if 2400 is cancelled, then the remaining amount is 1600. So finally, the meaning is cash book is decreased by 1600. Passbook also decreased by 1600. No? So both will be the same. Final answer is 2400 we should increase in cash book. Increase answer came no? Therefore, we should add this. If answer comes as decrease, we should subtract. So under additions, first point is checks issued but not presented for payment 2400. 
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट थर्ड वन चेक से अमाउंटिंग टू नाइन थाउजेंड वर डिपॉजिटेड फॉर कलेक्शन बट चेक फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड हैव नॉट एट बीन कलेक्टेड बाय द बैंक कस्टमर हैज गिवन नाइन थाउजेंड वर्त चेक टू फर्म सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू कस्टमर्स बैंक एंड कलेक्टिंग द मनी फर्म डिपॉजिटेड दिस नाइन थाउजेंड वर्त चेक इन बैंक फर्म्स बैंक सो फर्म एज्यूम्स दैट बैंक कलेक्टेड दैट मनी डिपॉजिटेड इन देयर अकाउंट बैंक बैलेंस इंक्रीज्ड so in cash book they also increased 9000 rupees when bank people increase when really they collect the money then only no see the continuation but checks for 3000 have not yet been collected by the bank in 9000 worth checks 3000 were not collected what is the meaning of this 9000 minus 3000 6000 is collected no so 6000 bank people collected therefore Bank credit six thousand only in passbook. Why credit? Because they collected, they deposited that money in firm's account. So firm's bank balance increases. No, as per passbook, increase means credit side. So six thousand is credited by the bankers. In cash book, nine thousand is debited, but in passbook, only six thousand is credited. So there is a difference. Now, cash book balance is given in the question. No, so rule is adjust cash book as per passbook. As per passbook, six thousand is increased. So in cash book, we should also increase six thousand only. But nine thousand we increased. How much extra we increased? Three thousand rupees. That three thousand now we have to decrease in cash book. So decrease means credit side. Credit side three thousand. If you decrease, then in nine thousand, three thousand, and this three thousand both will get cancelled. Then in nine thousand, if three thousand is cancelled, remaining amount is six thousand. So finally, as per cash book, six thousand is increased. As per pass book, also six thousand increased. Both are same. So answer is three thousand. We should decrease. Decrease means subtract, no? Under subtract, first point: checks deposited but not collected in inner column three thousand rupees. Next point: fourth point: a wrong debit of four hundred rupees appears in the pass book. In pass book, wrongly four hundred is debited. So debit as per passbook means bank balance decreases, no? So in BRS always you have to remember one important point. That is, in one book if amount is not recorded, then the meaning is in another book it is recorded. He need not to mention clearly. Similarly, in one book there is a mistake means in another book properly they have recorded. So in passbook there is a mistake. Four hundred wrongly they have debited. So this mistake occurred in passbook means. Cash book is correct only. In cash book, nothing is credited, but wrongly in pass book, four hundred is debited. Now, cash book we should adjust as per pass book. No, in cash book what to do? In pass book, four hundred decreased. So in cash book we should also decrease four hundred. So this is our final answer. Four hundred decrease means subtract. Immediately we'll get a doubt. Actually, mistake is in pass book. So wrongly they decreased. So this mistake we have to cancel now. We have to increase in pass book now. Instead of that, why same mistake we are doing in cash book also? So BRS lesson we are doing, not rectification of errors lesson. In rectification of error lesson, errors we rectify. But here our target is cash book bank balance is given to us, and we need bank balance as per pass book. So if you want bank balance as per pass book. Whatever is happened in pass book, same thing we should also do in cash book. Then only we will get pass book bank balance, no? So in pass book, it may be correctly recorded or wrongly recorded. It doesn't matter. So whatever happens in pass book, same thing we have to do in cash book also. So in pass book, four hundred is debited, no doubt wrongly debited. But you need not to bother about that. Four hundred debited in pass book. In cash book, we should also credit four hundred. Then only cash book balance will be equalized with the pass book balance. So four hundred decrease. Decrease means subtract. Now second point: wrong debit in pass book, four hundred in inner column. Next point: fifth one: bank charges ten rupee were entered twice in the cash book by oversight. In cash book, two times they have recorded bank charges. So bank charges. Bank is giving so many services to our firm. No? These services are not at free of cost. Time to time they charge. 
So how they take that amount from our record? They debit. They deduct. So when bank people deduct that amount, bank balance decreases now. So in passbook decrease means we said debit side. So debit side ten rupee they have recorded. In cash book we said we should record bank balance is decreasing. As per cash book decrease means credit side now ten rupees we have recorded. So ten rupee created ten rupee debited. Till here if we do then no problem. But here the mistake is. In cash book, two times they have recorded this ten rupees. So again they have recorded this ten rupees. This mistake is not done in pass book, no. So just now I said in one book mistake means in another book there is no mistake. That is our assumption. No? In cash book there is a mistake. Double time they have recorded ten rupees. Meaning is in pass book one time only they have recorded. So this is a first ten rupee, ten rupee. You need not to consider because these two amounts are properly recorded in these two books. So this is a first ten rupee is not a reason for disagreement for BRS preparation. This first ten rupee we need not to consider. Second one we should see. So in cash book it is recorded, but in pass book it is not recorded. Now cash book should be make equal with pass book, no? So as per pass book nothing is debited. But in cash book, this ten rupee is created. Now this we should cancel. How to cancel? We have to debit ten rupee again. Then this decreased amount will be increased again. So if two amounts are cancelled, finally as per cash book also only ten rupee is decreased. As per pass book, only ten rupee is decreased. So both are same. Final answer is ten rupee. We should increase in cash book. Increase means debit side. Under addition, second point, bank charges created twice in cash book, amount in outer column ten rupees. Next, sixth point, a check issued to a supplier for seven hundred was not entered in the cash book. So we have to pay seven hundred rupees to one supplier. Instead of paying in cash, we have given one check to him. So supplier goes to bank, he presents the check, he takes the money. And what is giving? In cash book, it is not recorded. So, what is the meaning of that? In one book, not recorded means in another book, it is recorded. So, we should understand that supplier really went to bank. He took the money. So, in pass book, bank people recorded this. We said when he takes the money, bank balance decreases. No, as per pass book, decrease means debit side. So, seven hundred they have debited. In cash book, we said it should be here debit means here credit. But nothing is created. So in cash book there is a mistake. Cash book balance is given to us now. Cash book should be equalized with the pass book. As per pass book, seven hundred is decreased. In cash book we should also decrease seven hundred. So decrease means credit side. Seven hundred decrease in cash book. This is our final answer. Decrease means subtract. Third point. Check issued not created in cash book seven hundred rupees. Next. Interest on investments collected by the bank thousand rupees was not entered in the cash book. Interest on investments, firm invested some savings amount outside, maybe in bonds, debentures. On that, firm receives interest now. So to the firm, this is an income. So firm has given this collection responsibility to bank. In favor of firm, bank is collecting this amount. And the bank is depositing this amount in our account. Not entered in the cash book means what? Entered in the pass book. In one book not recorded means what? In another book recorded. That is our assumption now. In cash book we said it should be recorded when bank people deposit that money. Bank balance increases. As per cash book increase means debit side now. So they have not debited. In pass book bank people have created that. So as per pass book, thousand is created, but as per cash book, nothing is debited. So there is a difference. Now cash book should be adjusted as per pass book. Now, as per pass book, thousand is increased. In cash book, we should also increase thousand. Increase means debit side. So thousand rupee increase. Increase is the answer. Means we have to add thousand rupees. Third point under additions, interest on investments created in pass book only thousand rupees. Next one. Eighth point: Check of twelve fifty issued to Khanna was wrongly entered twice on the debit side of the cash book. 
చెక్ ఆఫ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇష్యూడ్ టు ఖన్నా సో ఖన్నా ఈజ్ అవర్ సప్లయర్ టు హిమ్ వీ హర్ టు పే ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ రూపీస్ సో ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ పేయింగ్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ వీ ఇష్యూడ్ చెక్ అవర్ ఎగ్జామ్షన్ ఈజ్ హీ గోస్ టు బ్యాంక్ హీ ప్రెసెంట్ ద చెక్ హీ టేక్స్ ద మనీ బ్యాంక్ బ్యాలెన్స్ డిక్రీసెస్ సో బ్యాంక్ బ్యాలెన్స్ డిక్రీస్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ విచ్ సైడ్ వీ షుడ్ రికార్డ్ క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ వీ షుడ్ రికార్డ్ అండ్ ఇన్ పాస్ బుక్ విచ్ సైడ్ ఇట్ అపియర్స్ డెబిట్ సైడ్ చెక్ ఆఫ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇష్యూ టు ఖన్నా వాజ్ రాంగ్లీ ఎంటర్డ్ ట్వైస్ టూ టైమ్స్ దే హర్ రికార్డెడ్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ టైమ్ ఆన్ ద డెబిట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యాష్ బుక్ సో టూ మిస్టేక్స్ దే డిడ్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ ఫస్ట్ మిస్టేక్ ఈస్ టూ టైమ్స్ దే హర్ రికార్డెడ్ సెకండ్ మిస్టేక్ ఈస్ వెన్ వీ ఇష్యూ ఎ చెక్ బ్యాంక్ బ్యాలెన్స్ డిక్రీజ్ చేస్తున్న మీన్స్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ విచ్ సైడ్ వీ షుడ్ రికార్డ్ దట్ క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ బట్ డెబిట్ సైడ్ దే రికార్డెడ్ నాట్ వన్ టైమ్ టూ టైమ్స్ దే హర్ రికార్డెడ్ సో టూ మిస్టేక్స్ దే డిడ్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ దేర్ ఇస్ ఎ మిస్టేక్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ఇన్ పాస్ బుక్ దేర్ ఈస్ నో మిస్టేక్ ప్రాపర్లీ రికార్డెడ్ మీన్స్ అవర్ ఎగ్జామ్షన్ ఈస్ సప్లైయర్ వెన్ టు బ్యాంక్ హీ టుక్ ద మనీ బ్యాంక్ పీపుల్ డెబిటెడ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇన్ పాస్ బుక్ యాజ్ పర్ పాస్ బుక్ దేర్ ఈస్ నో మిస్టేక్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ మిస్టేక్ ఈస్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ క్రెడిటింగ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ దే హవ్ డెబిటెడ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ట్వైస్ సో హియర్ క్యాష్ బుక్ షుడ్ బి అడ్జస్టెడ్ యాజ్ పర్ పాస్ బుక్ నా యాజ్ పర్ పాస్ బుక్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇస్ డిక్రీస్డ్ నవ్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ ఆల్సో ఫైనలీ వీ వాంట్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ డిక్రీస్ సో ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వీ షుడ్ డిక్రీస్ మీన్స్ వన్ టైమ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఆన్ క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ బికాస్ యాజ్ పర్ క్యాష్ బుక్ డిక్రీస్ మీన్స్ క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ అండ్ ప్రీవియస్లీ వీ ఇంక్రీజ్ దిస్ టూ అమౌంట్స్ నా నవ్ దిస్ టూ ఇంక్రీజ్డ్ అమౌంట్స్ ఆల్సో వీ షుడ్ క్యాన్సిల్ సో ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వీ ఇంక్రీస్డ్ హౌ టు క్యాన్సిల్ దిస్ క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ రైట్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ దెన్ దిస్ టూ అమౌంట్స్ విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ సిమిలర్లీ సెకండ్ అమౌంట్ ఆల్సో ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వీ హ్యావ్ ఇంక్రీస్డ్ టు క్యాన్సిల్ దట్ అగైన్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వీ షుడ్ డిక్రీస్ సో త్రీ టైమ్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ క్రెడిటెడ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ రూపీస్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ మీన్స్ ఫైనల్లీ త్రీ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ ఫిఫ్టీ వీ హ్యావ్ టు క్రెడిట్ ఇన్ క్యాష్ బుక్ దెన్ వాట్ ఆర్ పెన్స్ ఇన్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ ఫిఫ్టీ దిస్ టూ అమౌంట్స్ ఆర్ దెన్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ ప్లస్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ దోస్ టూ అమౌంట్స్ అండ్ డెబిట్ టూ అమౌంట్స్ దే విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ ఇన్ త్రీ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇఫ్ దిస్ టూ అమౌంట్స్ ఆర్ క్యాన్సిల్ దెన్ ద రిమైనింగ్ అమౌంట్ ఈస్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఫిఫ్టీ we want that only as per cash book 1250 decrease we want so our final answer is 3750 we should credit in cash book decrease means subtract check issued debited twice in cash book so 1250 for three times total 3750 in our amount column next point last one ninth point పాస్ బుక్ షోడ్ ఏ డెబిట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ ప్రీమియం అండ్ ఏ క్రెడిట్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ రూపీస్ యాజ్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఫర్ విచ్ నో ఎంట్రీస్ వర్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ద క్యాష్ బుక్ సో ఇన్ నైన్త్ పాయింట్ హీ ఈస్ గివింగ్ టూ సబ్ పాయింట్స్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ వన్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ పాస్ బుక్ షోడ్ ఏ డెబిట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ ప్రీమియం సో డెబిట్ సైడ్ ఇన్ పాస్ బుక్ వన్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ దే హ్యావ్ రికార్డెడ్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ ప్రీమియం our firm has taken one insurance policy then we have to pay premium to the insurance company regularly so we are given standing orders to our bank they have to pay that premium amount so from our account banker is paying premium to insurance company first who knows about this bank people means in which book it was recorded in pass book when they pay them premium bank balance decreases no so as per pass book decrease means debit side so debit side 175 is recorded in pass book and in one book recorded means what in another book not recorded so in cash book nothing is created now how to make cash book equivalent to pass book as per pass book 175 decrease now in cash book we should also decrease 175 in cash book decrease means credit side so credit side 175 rupees decrease means subtract insurance premium debited in pass book only 175 now come to second bit in ninth point second one is a credit of 35 as interest so in pass book 35 rupee interest is credited credit means bank balance increases so we should understand that this is favorable bank balance on that interest 
so banker should give to firm means to the firm that is income no so how banker is paying that interest in our account they have deposited so bank balance increases in passbook credit side 35 they have recorded in passbook they have recorded means what in cash book they are not recorded in cash book we said it should be bank balance is increasing so as per cash book it should be on debit side no but nothing is debited now cash book should be adjusted as per passbook as per passbook 35 increased so in cash book we should also increase 35 final answer is 35 rupee debit in cash book increase means add under additions last point fourth one interest created in passbook only 35 rupees so everything you have taken finally we will close this one all these amounts we have to add total is 19,945 and these inner column amounts are there now add them total is 8,025 write in outer column finally 19,945 minus 8,025 is equal 11,920 this is the answer for answer what to write in question he is giving favorable bank balance as per cash book therefore for answer we should write favorable bank balance as per passbook so this is the end of present problem take a screenshot of the solution continuation and working notes working notes continuation is in next page remaining points so this is the end of present video hope this video is helpful to you thank you